right everyone hello and welcome back to the channel all right now here is an update on the uh, brooklyn thief and liar frauditor who was arrested for stealing an orange in this video you will see a uh, spokesman for the 1a community uh, do damage control and damage control means intimidating the individual who uh, press charges on a Brooklyn thief liar for uh, stealing an orange. Let's get into the video and the video will better explain it. So I don't know man, damn, I want a fucking apple, I want an orange actually. A oh, fucking orange. It's good. Yeah. Fuck out of here. It's my fucking neighborhood. I'll take whatever I want. Hey, hey, Octagon. That's allegedly. 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 You understand? The orange accidentally fell off the cot. It fell onto the floor and I picked the orange up. Nobody stole an orange. What are you kidding me? Who stole an orange? It fell off the floor, it fell off the cut. And I picked it up. What do you want from me? What do you want from me, bro? Oh, who gave me a super chat? Yo, order in Ernie County, bro. Write them tickets. Yo, appreciate you, brother, man. God bless you, man. Cheers. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, bro. Why do we have all these people waiting in the lobby, bro? They're victims. Why don't we bring them inside? We got a big building here. What's up? What's up? Well, you don't want to say what's up to me. You're at the 69, you're 62 detective squad. Why can't we have the victims go inside? What are we doing here? Why do we have them in the lobby? What are you doing? This is a big building. Oh, what's the matter? You talking to wifey? <laughs> Honey, come back to bed. How long are you going to be? Oh, how long are you going to be? Come on, can, can you do your job, detective? Let's go. Let, let's get these victims out of the lobby and bring them into a private room. Why? This is this is public. Look at this. They shouldn't be standing there like that. What's the matter with you guys, man? Treat the public right, bro. You're a detective. How long you been a detective for? What's your badge number? You got a badge number? Yes. What What's the number? Let's see. Let's see how your record is. What's your What's your badge number? What is it? You have a business card? You don't have one of these sexy business cards? You don't have one? All right, so what's your badge number? What is it? Let's see. What is 1091. it? 1091. Can we run 1091? We're going to run your name. We, we want to see how your record is. Can somebody run 1091, detective from the 6-2? You got all these people standing in the lobby. Yo, they, why not put them in like a private room? Oh, why are you walking away? Yeah, leave, yeah, yeah, run away. Hey, there we go, Canadian Toka, my boy, thank you, bro. Uh, trust me, you don't want to violate my rights, pal. Oh, he's still talking to his fucking... Anthony! Hey, Anthony, let's clear up the lobby, Anthony, come on. Let's clear up the lobby, Anthony, come on, clear it up. Come on, let's get all the victims in the room, Anthony. Let's go. Yeah, it runs away. All right, let's go. Let's leave. Fuck these guys. What was Anthony's record again? Abuse of authority? It's the J family. Anthony, can we get them inside? Oh, you got them inside already? Thanks, Anthony. Appreciate it, Anthony. Thank you. Come on, it's a big building. What are we doing upstairs? Abuse of authority. You got some complaints, man. Man. Ah, run away. Run away, run away, run away. Cowards. This precinct, yo, they love to violate your rights. I'm telling you, this precinct is crazy. Hey, you want to race? Bam, bam.
fast as fuck, boy. Oh, shit. Forgot to set off my alarm. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm getting robbed. <laughs> fast as fuck, boy. Wink. Wink. Oh. oh! What's the matter, Spider? Got something to say to me? What happened, Anthony? You call me back? What's the matter, Anthony? What's the matter? Call me back? Yeah, you all right? No, you know what it is with the 6 2? They're like to the violate rights. You know that, right? Yeah. You don't know Captain Martin? Where's Captain Martin and Shimente? They still working here? You know who Captain Martin is. Come on, don't lie to me. But, you know what? I want to have a, a civil conversation with you. You know why? Because you look like a nice guy. <laughs> why? Are you going to come back out? No, seriously. I want to have a conversation with you. Because you know why? This precinct is really. F all right. All right. All right. No problem. I'll wait for you. No problem. You got it. So I just want to know, like, what is the issue? Like, what is up with your cops? Like, what's up? He's getting back up? Let him get back up. Let me tell you something, man. He better get his fucking army out here. <laughs> so, yo, check it out. I came here one time, right? A couple months ago. I came inside. I made a complaint. I want to complain for him. Shimenti and uh, Martin. Oh, yeah. We got backup coming now. Uh-oh. Let's find out. So, Captain Martin and Cemente, you know Officer Cemente, right? You don't know him? Are you going to ignore me? If you're going to ignore me, I'll just, I'll leave. Yes, I know Cemente. You know Cemente. You know Lieutenant Martin, maybe? I don't think he's a captain. I'm sorry. Lieutenant Martin. Black male. Right? Drives a, what? Where is he driving? Ultima? He parks on this side over here. You know, you know, you know Martin. Okay, all right. So, why would they arrest me for hanging out on a public sidewalk? All right, case was dismissed, okay. And now you realize you guys don't have qualified immunity. So who you guys think you are to arrest a, a, a person on a, on a public sidewalk exercising their First Amendment, right? Would you arrest me if I'm... Ha Look, I'm hanging out right now, right? You're not, you're not going to do nothing, right? Exactly. I'm exercising my First Amendment. I came in here. I wanted to complain for him. I'm going to film for my own protection because obviously I, I got ganged up. Now... They put me in handcuffs, they put me in a back cell, like, like a filthy animal, right? For what reason? Trespassing? In public? Come on, bro. Come on. So what, what do you think about that? What's your comments on that? He wasn't there. He wasn't there. You, you, so you're not going to comment? You, you don't think that was wrong? You think that was right? Case was dismissed anyway, so trust me. Shimenti and mine, I'm, I'm going after them. Trust me, I am. Because you guys don't got qualified immunity. We're allowed to sue you personally. You, they unlawfully arrested me for no reason. So what do you think about that? You, you have no comment on that? No. So why'd you call me back for? What was the point of calling me back? You say, yo! You, you. So who are you yelling to? Come on. Uh, you weren't yelling else? towards me? Anything else? Come on, Anthony. You weren't yelling towards me? No? no? Do you All want right. to continue? Just wait, wait. All right. You can go back to work. You're dismissed then. No problem. Yeah, you go back to work. Dismissed. Right? I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm Gucci. What do you mean am I all right? Are you all right? Is he all right? He's coming in hot right now. Is he all right? Yeah, I'm all right. You guys are all right? <laughs> We're all right. Everyone's all right. Everyone's all right. Yeah, everybody's all right. Put your phone down. Put your hands up. Right. Well, for what? Put your hands Why? Why? Why am I getting arrested for? Arrest. For what? You're stolen out in the orange from the store. They're pressing charges. Get the fuck out of here. The orange stole on the fucking floor. You're arresting yeah. me for an orange? Yes, sir. They're pressing charges. Are you orange. stupid? Yeah. For a fucking orange? Yes. You guys are a fucking joke. You know that? See what I'm saying? You guys like to violate my rights. Every right. single time, bro. Every single time. This is a joke. This is a joke, bro, for an orange that I walked by, that I know the guy, and it fell on the floor, and I picked it up. Yeah. <laughs>
We are live, folks. We are live. I'm going to give everybody a chance to get up in here because I hate saying things three and four times. But we have an update about Brooklyn. I have some audio to let y'all listen to. All right. What's up? We got 67 people in here. Let's go ahead and start with some audio um, from the business owner that the orange was stole from. I think that's a good starting point. What do you think? Yeah, the audio, like he just said, the audio is pertaining that the business owner, the one that lost his orange that was taken from him, that was, he was a little upset last night, but he did contact me today. Actually, let's just go straight to this. Let me show you this email that I just received from the business owner. Right here, I'll keep his name kind of out of it. I have discussed the matter with legal assistant, this person, who has informed me consequences of the decision. I understand that once this case is exposed, it will be over. We have discussed the matter and both came to an agreement that pressing charges would make the matter better but worse. He apologized and I decided it would be best to drop all charges and go about our day. So there's the email from the owner of the store saying that he has dismissed all charges through the department uh, of justice and the DA. But then when we spoke with the DA, they said, uh, what was it? They hung up on us multiple times and they said that they were, they don't give a shit about giving us service. Yeah, so the, the phone number for that place is 718-250-2000. And if you just ask for the tough guy, they'll send you to him. And um, it's weird. I have the audio recording. And he's saying, hey, can I talk to the tough guy? And they're like, give me one second. And they transfer me to him. <laughs> I mean, um, and no, everybody, just like we spoke about last night, we do not condone theft. What he did was fucked up. Um. But I believe that men should be able to come to a conclusion of like, hey, I fucked up. Yeah, you fucked up and make an agreement. It doesn't always have to involve the state um, or the law enforcement, right? And so this man and the owner came to an agreement that they apologize. he apologized for doing what he did. He's trying to fix the problem. And... The owner dropped the charges. He said, I don't want to pursue any charges. But the DA is holding him. So I'll just play this audio here for you and let you listen. All right. So let me just pause the video here and comment on what just came out of News Now Ninja's mouth, where he is stating that a Brooklyn thief uh, somehow communicated with the store owner and apologized to uh, the store owner for stealing the orange. Now, I'm having a hard time swallowing that, whereas uh, at this very moment, Brooklyn thief is still locked up. Okay, he is still in jail at this moment. Okay, he hasn't been released yet. So I'm having a hard time understanding how the hell the Brooklyn thief call the store owner and apologize. Now, uh, maybe I misunderstood. Maybe he missaid it, whereas uh, maybe he meant the frauditing community, uh, communicated with the store owner and apologized on behalf of Brooklyn Thief, okay, for stealing the orange. Now, I think it's safe to say that uh, that store owner, uh, apparently finding out who the hell he was dealing with, uh, oh, these are the individuals that I see on YouTube videos uh, harassing 
targeting law enforcement on a daily, and not only do they target law enforcement, but they target private businesses as well. So, come on now. Any normal business person would say, shit, I don't want to deal with these guys. Uh, they don't want a dozen individuals in front of their location recording uh, uh, their customers coming in and out of the store. So I could imagine any normal business person would just uh, nip it at the butt and say, okay, I'll drop the charges and just leave it alone, okay? Where me personally, hey, I'd keep the charges going. Bring it on. You want to stand in front of my location and record my people, I'll worry about it then and deal with it then, but I'm not giving in to these guys because the longer you continue to give in to these guys, they will continue to do their shit and think it's okay. It's got to come to an end at one point. It's got to come to an end. And uh, this is not... This is not the way to go to uh, putting this shit to an end by giving in and dropping charges on an asshole who truly feels that it's his neighborhood and he can do what the hell he wants to do, okay? Remorseful? He may sound remorseful because he's in jail. But as we heard when the uh, store owner was calling him to come back, what came out of his mouth? Screw that. And that's the nice way of saying it, okay? This is my neighborhood. I do what I want to do, okay? So, come on now. Uh, anybody who thinks this is the first time that he stole something, well, then you're dumb, okay? This is just maybe the first time that he was dumb enough to record it and get caught at it. But let's get back to the video. Hey, brother. Hey, uh, we spoke last night. Yeah, okay. I dropped them, bro. I'm just making sure I'm speaking with the same person. I, I have somebody. Okay, I have somebody in New York that's willing to come out there. He's two hours away. Are you still willing I to take? I dropped him already. I dropped him already, man. You dropped the charges? Yeah, bro. I dropped him. <laughs> Don't worry, bro. I dropped him already. Okay, well, I. The and everything, bro. He's still in jail, bro. They're, they've kept him. All right, but I dropped the charges, man. You dropped the. I do what I have to do. I swear to God, I dropped the charges, dude. So, I mean, what do we got to do, man? I'll send somebody to bring bring you money. No, man, don't worry about it. I mean, it's just an orange, you know. It's all right, bro. Don't worry about it. Don't do it. Don't do it again to this store, No, it will never happen again. I just want. If you if you if you're really serious about your fan base on YouTube, bro, shout us out, man. Yeah, I'll shout. I'll. I'll sh I'll, I'll shout you out for... That's what I want you, that's what I want you to do for me, all right? Okay, if you drop the charges for real, then I will shout you out. Yeah, what's your email? I'll send you, I'll send you the, the papers. Yeah, I just sent you... Uh, you got my phone number, so just... Right, give me one second. Give me one second. Okay. What's your email, bro? I'll send you, I'll send you a copy of me talking to the fucking charge. All right, so y'all just heard it. He dropped the charges. And the only thing he asked for was to give him a shout out for doing what was right. As a business owner that was stolen from, this man was still able to be humble and say, you know what? This fucking dude made a mistake. And the only thing he asked for was for me to shout him out. So I promised him I was going to do that. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Let me pull up the store right now. And I'm going to shout him out. And tell y'all what store he's at. And this is in a good manner, guys. Know that this guy, I'm not trying to get him his lines blown up. I'm not trying to bother this dude. He's dropping charges on someone that stole from him. And we're trying to just fix this problem within the community, Erie and myself. Uh, we were willing to give this dude $150 last night um, just to try to move forward. Because the court systems, I mean, and like most of y'all know, <laughs> it's very small situations that the cops should, can show up and make it better. So, here, let me pull up this. Uh, shout out to Muhammad from Food Universe. This is the place here. Nineteen eighty two dash eighty four eighty six Street, Brooklyn, New York, one one two one four. There's the phone number. This guy here decided that he's going to drop charges on Brooklyn, regardless of the situation. And I want to give this dude a shout out because even though someone did him wrong, he's doing something good by being a bigger man 
and moving forward. He earns a lot of respect for me because he kept his word as well. You know, he didn't just backstab us or try to fool us or try to rob us for our money, which is what we were kind of afraid of. But, you know, anytime you're doing a negotiation, you have to be scared, especially when you don't know the person that you're negotiating with. So we were a little bit afraid of negotiating or helping or working with this guy last night, but he came true. He did what was right, even though he was done wrong. And so um, it's called the Food Universe Marketplace. Go give them some good reviews. Everybody, um, because all the charges are going to be dropped, I would guess that they're going to be forced to give him back his phone. So he should be able to go live. Um, so when he gets out, know that we will be having a conversation with him, that this is not over, that this, uh, this issue needs to be corrected, and we don't go around stealing shit. And uh, this can... Yeah. So... I want to let you guys know, Erie and myself, we've been on the phone for hours over the past 24 hours trying to get this resolved and trying to make a positive change within our community, but not only within our community, but with these business owners because, you know, they were done wrong and we we agree with that, that you, you should never steal from somebody, that that was wrong. And so... Brooklyn's charges have been dismissed from the victim and Brooklyn's charges will not be pursued by the DA's office. And, uh, yeah, we're just doing our best to try to make the community strong and keep y'all updated on what's happening. So I don't really know what else we can. So know that we're going to take care of it. Erie and myself, um, we're going to make sure and have a good, a sturdy talking about this situation, but, and make sure that this, I even said, are you going to, are you going to commit a felony? I was like, are you going to commit a felony by dereliction of duty by refusing me access to the personal or the public information that I'm, uh, pertaining or like I'm trying to get. And he said, yeah, I am refusing you. And I don't give a shit if I'm breaking the law. That's what the DA's office said. He said, fuck you, pretty much. Nope, that's that's phone number 718-250-2000. And if you just ask for the tough guy, they'll transfer you to him. So that's the update. We're going to keep it short, sweet, and simple. Um, Ari and myself are going to do our best to keep y'all updated on the situation. Like he said, we do not condone or appreciate what Brooklyn has done. He made a big mistake, but we don't want the court systems. And like most of y'all know, calling the cops doesn't make things better most of the time. All right. So this is where I end the video. And I'm sure that most of you, if not all of you realize that the audio and the video were out of sync in this video. And just so that you know that that technical error was on his end, not my end, his end. Now as for the frauditors communicating with the store owner and the store owner dropping the charges, now I don't know, I'm up in the air with that one because uh, half of me feels that that uh, uh, witness intimidation came into play, okay? But and then the other half feels that uh, I guess any normal person would have went to the store owner to compensate him for what was stolen and and uh, hoping that he would forgive and drop the charges, which is what happened. But I got to imagine now, I think it's safe to say that that store owner, once he realized that these individuals are on YouTube and they're on YouTube for harassing law enforcement on a 24 seven day basis, that that store owner felt that, hey, I don't need these guys at my location on a daily harassing my customers as they're coming in and out of the store. Now, again, that's a kick in the ass that, uh, unfortunately, uh, I think these guys get away with a lot of shit because of uh, the amount of people that are doing this, okay? And again, I get angry at some of us because we are not as united as we should be. We should all be pulling together to attack these guys at one time, and I think we could actually put this, I don't know. 
put this shit to bed, okay? Uh, this is uh, way out of control. It's been out of control for the longest. And uh, until we all pull together, we all have to be on the same page. Until that happens, uh, these guys are winning. That's the way I see it. Let me know your thoughts on the video, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.